Who does this land belong to? You've probably heard a lot of rumors, but today I'm gonna expose the truth. Right off the bat, I got a couple positive points for Palestine. Number one, shawarma. Everyone knows for the perfect shawarma, you gotta have the wrap, the chicken, the salad, the pickles, and the sour yogurt sauce. Hey, but yeah. the kosher law in Israel means they can't eat dairy and meat together. These Donnies are raw dog in shawarmas. These men are one throat in shawarmas with no yogurt sauce. Huge L for his cells. Number two, Marvel. That's right, I've uncovered what I think will be a devastating hit for Israel. Marvel are introducing a Zionist superwoman in 2024. This is coming concernedly soon after She-Hulk. So what can we expect? I'm saying at least two twerks. She-Hulk was just the test run. I think it's fair to assume that the Israeli stocks are gonna plummet after this one. However, we got some W's coming in for Israel too. Number three, the Kardashians. Honestly, uh, I don't know how Palestine are gonna recover from this one, but I've uncovered that Kim Kardashian is actually pro-Israel. Here is the proof I was able to find. Reportedly, the shift to Zionism is what led Kanye West to infamously change the intro on his album Donda. Israel, Israel, Israel. Israel. Number four, the autopilot technology used in Teslas was invented by an Israeli. This is a big W for Israel as this technology has caused many car crashes and therefore reduced the amount of annoying Elon Musk fans. Five, Israeli drip is on point in both ways. Not only did they design this drip farming method, they also swag. Hey, this should be fire. However, number six, Einstein. He was actually offered the presidency of Israel in 19. 52, and he stated that the reason for him not taking the presidency was that he was too old. But with the help of my government intel, I was able to find this secret Einstein equation which explains it all. <coughs> so you might be thinking, Geopold, there's equal W's and L's for each side. Who is the true leader of the Holy Land? And in conclusion, Wales. That's right, it should have been Welsh. In the colonial era, Wales had permission from Turkey and other countries to establish a Welsh-speaking colony here. However, they settled here instead when they realized it would be a better place to farm sheep.